Are you still on the sidelines and waiting to invest in the S&P 500? I think that 2024 is the year that you finally do it. Today, I'm sharing with you my investments in the S&P 500 through various investment platforms. Now again, this is not to brag, but to really encourage you to find you the right investment vehicle where you can get some good returns as well. This is what we look to cover in this video. But before then, if you are new to this channel, I am Mark. I do videos about Airbnb hosting, personal finance and investments, and in my spare time, I also do some lifestyle videos. And before proceeding, you must know that I actually do these videos for free. Well, sometimes I do earn from referral links, but they are very, very, very little. So I'm doing these unbiased, really giving you a recommendation of what's worked out for me. And if you feel like that my channel is helpful to you, I would appreciate a super like or any of the sticker donations that you can do via YouTube now. But that's completely optional. What I really want to share here is how I made some good money in investments and how you can do this as well. So enough of this intro and let's go. Before going through the returns, let's step back a little and just have a refresher of what the S&P 500 is about. So the standard in course 500 is primarily composed of the top 500 corporations in the US and throughout the many years and decades, the S&P 500 has actually produced the most encouraging, the most consistent results. It's been really one of the more dependable and reliable benchmark indexes out there. Analysts are saying that the S&P 500 currently trading around 4,700 will be reaching levels of 5,400 or even 5,500. So that is 800 points above its current level, which is a projected increase of about 15%. But projections are always going to be uncertain. I mean, these may or may not happen. So what I wanted to share with you are my actual returns from these investments throughout the years. These would be reliable and factual data. And while they may not be a guarantee of what's also to happen in the future, these data would at least give you some confidence, some indication of what you can expect. So let me now share with you my investments in the S&P 500 through three different channels. And I will go about this from my most recent ones starting at about 8 months. And I will also share with you my longest investments here which are already at about 6 years. So let's start with my investment in the Vanguard S&P 500 which I've done through the Shari Shari app. So I've only been using Shari Shari for about 8 months now. I've employed here a strategy wherein I'm only investing $1 every day. If you miss my videos on this, you can check that out later. But basically, this is investing $1 per day so that I am lowering my cost average. And basically, I'm investing in this without really having to think, do I come in now? Do I come in when it dips? I am just investing consistently because I know that with this consistency, I can really get some good returns. So over the course of 8 months, I've invested $179 in this. Currently, my returns are a little over 10%. In terms of actual value, this is $19.03. So my initial investment of $179 is now at $208, which is again at a 10% return. So for this 10% return, I started investing just before mid-year of 2023. So, so far so good. I think we are off to a good start. Uh, let's move on to our second platform. The second platform that I'm using is GoTrade. Via GoTrade, I'm also investing in the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF. So by the way, all these data are as of December 30, 2023. I'm shooting this a few days now into the new year. So for my investment in this, this is at about 18 months or one and a half years old. My current return is at $41.52. And my initial investment here is a little over $234. So that is a return of about 17%. The investment strategy that I also did with GoTrade is the $1 investment strategy. But the thing with GoTrade is I actually haven't put in as much money as I was doing before. They unfortunately raise their fees, raise their charges. So this $1 investing strategy that I'm doing with Shari Shari, I'm no longer doing with GoTrade. I mean, yes, I'm still using GoTrade for bigger positions, for bigger investments that I want to do. But the daily $1 investing, I'm not doing it with GoTrade anymore. But what's important to note here again is that after one and a half years, my investment in the Vanguard S&P 500 is at 17% or a little over $41. 
Now let's move on to the third and last investment channel that I'm using and this is being done via BPI Wealth or BPI UITFs. Specifically, the investment fund that I'm investing in is the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund. This fund actually tracks the Spider S&P 500. So it's a little different from the first two ones wherein I was investing in the ETFs of Vanguard S&P 500 directly. This one is a feeder fund benchmarked and managed by a different company which is Spider. So for my investment in this, this is actually my longest tenured one at about six to seven years. I'm actually not sure anymore if I started it in 2016 or 2017. And I've invested a lot more in this because when I did this many years ago, the minimums to invest were really big. Unlike now, we have G-Invest, GoTrade, Chai Shari. So anyway, because of the large investment minimums, my total investment in the BPI US Equity Index Feeder Fund is at $9,800. My gains are actually a little over 70% in terms of returns. So in terms of actual value, those are returns of $6,925. And this puts my investment of $9,800 to now $16,726. So these are again, very, very good returns for the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund. Although I invested a lot at the start, I started employing the same strategy of the $1 investing daily. Sometime in 2023, BPI also started lowering their minimum investments. So whereas previously, I would actually wait until I accumulate $500. Now I can do it regularly and again, mindlessly, just a little at a time. And again, while it's tedious, I think it's one of the better strategies that I've employed. If you recall my 1 million investment portfolio reveal, my returns for the BPI US Equity Feeder Fund then was only at 57%. So in a matter of two to three months, my returns have gone up to 70%, so that's an additional 13%. So let me summarize that and let's look at the numbers again. My returns via the Shari Shari app are a little over 10%. Moving on to my investment via the GoTrade app, which is about one and a half years or 18 months, my returns here are at 17%. And moving on to the mother load, the bulk of my investments, my returns here are at 70%. So what can we take as our learnings from this? I think the time to invest is definitely now. The returns of my investments have really shown that time in the market really beats timing the market. I mean, by virtue of me having these investments for months and years now have really translated into the returns that I'm getting. Again, I've presented here different investment channels, but it's not really the platform or the channel that I'm trying to dwell on. It's really the time in the market and that time to invest regularly, which I am advocating. So what do you think? Do share your own returns from the S&P 500 in the comment section. If you haven't invested yet, are you convinced that this is finally your year? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching guys and happy new year, happy investing.